Hi, Assalamualaikum. Uh, so, we are going to continue uh, our uh, international banking uh, for 1.3 uh, Global and Emerging Market Banking System. So, um, uh, what does it mean by emerging market itself? Apa yang dimaksudkan dengan emerging market? So, emerging market uh, ataupun pasaran yang sedang berkembang. So, we can say that uh, even if this emerging market has actually uh, um, uh, happens to uh, a few uh, uh, countries, okay, such as uh, in China, Okay, in China, right? And also in India, India, right? So, uh, dengan keadaan uh, yang uh, ekonomi yang agak pesat membangun seperti di China lately dan juga uh, di India. So, uh, kita panggil keadaan ini sebagai uh, global emerging market. So, of course, uh, untuk international banking, it also will uh, expand further, okay? So, another example you can say for emerging market such as in UAE, Chile, right? Uh, dan juga di Malaysia. Okay, cuma di Malaysia kita menghadapi beberapa krisis uh, uh, start from uh, to, uh, lately uh, yang terbaru uh, dari uh, tahun uh, selepas uh, PRU 14 kan? So, uh, before the PRU, also we are having the uh, kejatuhan mata, mata wang ringgit Malaysia, right? So, we can say that this emerging market adalah uh, berkenaan sesuatu ekonomi uh, yang sedang menuju ke arah negara ma maju. Uh, and therefore, international banking has expanded uh, markedly over the last 30 years. So, since tahun uh, 1980-an, uh, international banking makin berkembang dengan per pesat. So, its form and geographical coverage uh, reflect two important aspects of the role international banks play in the global economy. So, it because of the geographical coverage uh, and the role that it plays uh, to uh, the role that it plays to actually um, uh, helps the business growing further. So that is the uh, the reasons why this international banking banking has expanded. So first, sorry, first international banking has been an important component of broader process of financial global uh, globalization, liberalization, and also inter integration iaitu penyatuan uh, uh, ekonomi antara seluruh du dunia and historically it has expanded gradually with international trade uh, dan berkembang uh, seiring dengan uh, perdagangan antara bangsa iaitu international trading and has performed key functions for the businesses of international firm jadi mereka juga berkembang seiring dengan uh, berkembangnya uh, aktiviti perniagaan antarabangsa oleh syarikat-syarikat uh, antarabangsa yang uh, bergerak dan move ke seluruh dunia. So, in addition, the local operations of foreign banks have spurred uh, iaitu uh, telah memacu okay, uh, local operation dan juga uh, uh, apa yang dibuat oleh foreign-foreign bank tadi telah memacu development of financial system, memacu perkembangan sistem kewangan uh, di pasaran yang sedang berkembang di emerging market and help to improve information problem via close and loyal customer relationship. Alright, jadi uh, apa yang berlaku? Uh, um, Mereka juga uh, seiring dengan perkembangan uh, semasa uh, terhadap uh, faktor ekonomi perdagangan antarabangsa uh, dan juga uh, uh, dengan berkembangnya information system dan sebagainya, maka International Bank juga uh, turut uh, memacu perkembangan uh, pelbagai sektor perniagaan di seluruh du dunia. So basically, there are three perspectives made towards the emergence of international banking system. Ada tiga perspektif 
okay, yang membawa kepada uh, berkembangnya uh, uh, IB ataupun international banking. So, pertama kita tengok dari sudut uh, traditional and modern foreign banking. Yes, okay, A adalah traditional and modern foreign banking. So, for traditional banking is more conservative. Yes, traditional banking dilihat lebih uh, bersifat conservative. Where modern banking uh, on the other way is more flexible. Okay, lebih flexible and has been more liberal. Uh, lebih flexibel, lebih bebas in terms of credit or loan or advances and asset valuation. Kenapa lebih bebas, kenapa lebih liberal uh, bertujuan untuk menarik uh, minat customer-customer uh, yang ada di negara asing. So, kalau traditional banking dia agak konservatif dan lebih uh, berhati-hati untuk Uh, mengembangkan perniagaan, memberi pinjaman dan sebagainya. Okay. So, modern banking practices can be found in the larger bank. Yes, kebanyakan modern banking practice ni kita boleh lihat di bank-bank yang uh, agak besar. Okay. Uh, dan where traditional banking practices pula will be employed in smaller bank. Dan uh, amalan traditional banking biasanya kita lihat di bank-bank yang lebih kecil. Uh, yang uh, mungkin uh, beroperasi di kawasan yang lebih terpencil dan sebagainya. Okay. So, there are pro and cons to each other. Okay, ada pro and con antara traditional dan modern banking. But over the long term, traditional banking is the least risky due to its size and exposure. Yes, uh, even though there are pro and cons to each other, But in in the long terms conditions, uh, we can say that traditional banking is less risk risky, okay? Because of its size, because of its way they conduct the business, and also uh, less exposure compared to modern banking. So uh, we can say this traditional banking, of course, comes from the. Uh, 1800 uh, years, uh, centuries, okay, daripada tahun 1800 sehingga ke tahun 1960. Uh, so, masih lagi mengamalkan uh, aktiviti tradisional banking yang uh, uh, yang lama, kan. So, traditional banking and modern banking are two ways for getting benefits from the bank. So, both have advantages and drawbacks. So, kedua-dua ada kelebihan dan ada kekurangan. Uh, so, kita nak tengok one by one. In traditional banking system, a customer kita katakan can open any bank accounts in banks. Take the facility of saving his money by depositing money in the local bank. So, he can withdraw his money through check, counter payment and also bank draft. Dulu kita ada bank draft. Eh? Uh, so, one of the way yang kita uh, dapat keluarkan duit daripada bank. So, he can meet the bank manager and give the feedback. So, he can take the physical or one-to-one -one, uh, help for getting a loan from the bank. Itu adalah traditional banking. So, until now, it is being uh, practiced uh, in a modern banking uh, whereby if you are getting loans or something like uh, what we call as uh, 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 private or personal funding from the bank, Uh, still, you have to meet the bank officer, right? Okay, but uh, in uh, modern banking, some of the application can just be done on online, yes. But however, still, we are using this uh, traditional way. Um, uh, because uh, there, is, uh, there is a kind of uh, uh, advantage if you can meet the uh, bank officer personally. So, you can ask for the you can actually understand further about your loan application uh, instead of just reading it on online, okay? So, modern banking sometimes also can be known as e-banking. Yes, e-banking. Uh, uh, so, electronic banking actually. Home banking, yes. Internet banking or also online bills. So, in this method, Customer gets his bank account ID and password. Just like we are having for if you have Maybank to you account. 
if you have go islamic uh, banking account or if you have cimb clicks account right so and he can check his account pay bills uh, and print his receipt through his home personal computer which is connected with internet Okay, so this is the modern banking era that we are using right now. So, modern banking is an improvement of the previous banking system. In other words, e-banking e -banking is a kind of electronic banking whose facility you can take uh, through your regular broadband internet connection. So, you just connect to internet and then you can use... Uh, Whatever the facilities being provided by the bank, you can transfer money, you can buy or buying or shopping online, you can pay credit card, you can apply for credit card, you can apply for loans and whatsoever. So this is what we call the modern banking practices. Okay. And traditional banking, however, has totally aimed improve from the previous phase yes uh so this uh, traditional banking being uh used by our parents uh, by your grandmother or your uh, grandfather previously right also has actually Im improved further so the main idea of this practice is they do not want to take the risk of customer money uh so they are uh, for traditional banking they try to be more careful with the customer's money so the customer's loss is also their loss right so they deduct fraud of by case by monitoring the activities also through the cctv yes uh since we have right now we have cctv's uh, accommodation uh so that's why uh banks uh uh include the or install the cctv at uh, any of their branch any of their kiosk or ter terminal so this will help uh, the banks uh, especially if there are fraud cases that happen or uh, uh, let's say uh, there's some uh, thief that's uh, stealing your money stealing your credit card stealing your atm card for example and when they went to the bank uh, to withdraw your money all right so this can be checked through the cc TV. Sometimes if they do not hide their face from the CCTV, you can still, uh, still you can see their faces lah. Uh, right? So modern banking is very convenient because people also can use e-banking from home or from anywhere for tracking money in their account without going to the bank, without going to ATM or kiosk or terminal. So you do not have to walk in. Uh, so you do not have to walk into the bank just using your uh, online uh, um, apps uh, or online websites. You can just uh, transfer your money or you can just pay bills, right? So, modern banking can also protect our environment. So, the bank can protect the environment by using the e-banking uh, for uh, their own uh, way to protect their customers, okay? Uh, just within 5 minutes, the bank can transfer people's money from bank A to B. Yes, right now, also we have do it now, like uh, one of the apps that they, uh, the bank had been, one of the system that the bank had been used uh, wider, widely all over the uh, Malaysia, like for example, can do it now. So you can just transfer from Maybank to CMB, from uh, Bank Islam to uh, CMB, for example, just within a second or minute, something like that. Uh, and with, even though the bank is different, okay, the banks is different, you can just transfer your money okay of course of course there are limit in terms of how much you can transfer via online but still it helps us a lot right all uh, right so this is the modern banking okay so for this one uh traditional or uh, still under the traditional and modern banking i uh, will uh, continue in the next video